Broken bones that involve the growth plate in children can be concerning because they can result in damage to the growth plate, which in turn can cause deformities. Growth plate fractures are often classified under the Salter-Harris classification system. A physis is another term for a growth plate. The physis is found between the epiphysis, the end of the bone, and the metaphysis, where the end of the bone meets the shaft of the bone. The shaft is also known as the diaphysis. A fracture through the physis, or through the growth plate itself, is known as a Salter-Harris type 1 fracture. These fractures usually heal well if they are minimally displaced and well aligned. A fracture that involves both the physis and the metaphysis is known as a Salter-Harris type 2 fracture. These fractures also have a good prognosis. If they are displaced, they may need to be gently reduced or set. A fracture that involves the physis and the epiphysis is known as a Salter-Harris type 3 fracture. These fractures involve the joint and must be very well aligned to prevent joint problems. A fracture that travels from the epiphysis through the physis and into the metaphysis is known as a Salter-Harris type 4 fracture. Like type 3 fractures, they involve the joint and require extra caution. They are also more unstable than type 3 fractures and often require surgery. A fracture that results in crushing of the physis is known as a Salter-Harris type 5 fracture. These fractures carry a high risk of growth arrest because of extensive damage to the physis.